Welcome back, my friend, to another Technical Tuesday on the Chef Land Show. And today we're putting together this super simple, super quick, and super delicious Louisiana-style remoulade sauce. Let's cook this thing. All right, kids, let's get to mixing this remoulade sauce, Louisiana-style remoulade sauce. So what I'm going to start with, I've got some mayonnaise. Uh, all the uh, ingredient amounts are on the website. The link will be below in the description. But this is a super simple, super delicious sauce that you can make. goes perfectly with seafood. In fact, um, we're going to be making some crab cakes uh, sometime soon, and I'll be using this sauce on that. So what I've got here is some uh, garlic, my handy-dandy garlic paste. You know I like to use. It's so easy. So we've got that. Got some horseradish. I had a little kick, put a little kick in the step. Now, remoulade sauce was actually originated in France, but of course, uh, South Louisiana has a lot of French and Spanish and Italian uh, heritage in it. And so uh, the French cooking method and style was adapted to the local ingredients. Uh, that, by the way, was ketchup. Now I've got some, um, got the mustard right here mm, smelling good already I'm telling you what you know really just gathering all the ingredients uh, takes uh, longer than actually doing it so what i've got here i've got some creole seasoning this is actually tony thatcher's i love tony thatcher's it's a good season it's creole not cajun there is a little bit of a difference i'm not going to go into that today but there is some difference there um green onions Got that. Now we got to add a little salt. Lemon juice, limon. This is uh, some parsley, dried parsley. And Worcestershire sauce, if that's the way you say it. I always get confused. All right, let's scrape this off. Oh, one other thing. This is not listed on the recipe, but I was zesting some lemon. And that lemon zest actually... Uh, Makes a lot of things better. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there, and I may add more later. Who knows? So now I've got everything in the bowl. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything's in the bowl. Let's just get it whisked up. You could certainly, I could have used that spatula. And now that I'm doing this, I'm wishing I had one less thing to clean. But it comes together. Now, this sauce, like many things, is so much better if you uh, package this up. Put this in the fridge and let it sit overnight. The flavors, as they say, will marry. But um, uh, so if, you, if you're doing something with a remoulade, uh, you can make this ahead. This will actually keep it for about five to seven days in the refrigerator. Uh, so let's um, give that a quick taste. Hmm. Wow. Well, add just a pinch more salt. And I'm going to add a little more lemon zest. In fact, I'm just going to use what I have. Mm-mm-mm. Smelling so good. That is awesome. All right, guys. I, I, I mean, I could take more time, but seriously, that's all there is to it. You can put this in an airtight container like the little deli containers that we use around here. Keep that in the fridge. Be sure to label and date it. And you are good to go. Let me give that one last taste. Mm -mm -mm. That is so, so good. All right, welcome back, friend. And it is my favorite ride this time of the day, and that is tasting time. So let me put a little spoon in this, get a little taste of it. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, that is so awesome. Guys, super simple, super quick, super delicious. Make this at home. Goes great with a lot of things, but especially goes great on seafood. It's Louisiana-style remoulade sauce. Well, thank you for joining me for another Technical Tuesday. And until next time, remember this, a day in the kitchen beats a day of working any day. We'll see you next time on the Chef Lance Show.